Hello there, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ion Fury on Ultra Viscera Difficulty. This is Zone 5, Area 3, Haskell's House of Horrors. Well, well, well. Someone has an elevator that leads right into their house. Imagine the future, because you're not in it. Looks like Mr. Uh, sorry, Doctor Jadis Heskel is a bit of a big baller. Got his own little mansion here, complete with robo security and everything. So yes, this is Heskel's house, his house of horrors. That is. I hear a mech sec. There you go. Okay, so yes, Heskel's house of horrors now. This is nowhere near as long or as intricate a level as Knee Deep is, but it can still get pretty, uh, pretty winding. Oh, yeah, make sure to go ahead and get that mech second there. This is actually an alternate path into the uh, bar room, but we're not going to go in the bar just yet. I'm just crawling through this vent now to get these two mech sects before I accidentally forget about them. Let's go ahead and deal with them now and go back the way we came. Because so I just know if I don't get them now, I'll end up forgetting about them. And we'll go in here first, the kitchen area. Yeah. Look at this swanky pad. It's got his own kitchen and everything. Or oh, he has professional chefs. If he hasn't killed them by now. I think we can open this. There we go. And if you want to, you can actually ride the dumbwaiter up, but it'll deposit you right in front of a good amount of enemies, so we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. It is a bit of a sneakier, more unorthodox approach, which normally works out in your favor, but not this time. So yeah, there's secret number one, that little I guess it's like a cellar door behind this trash bag here on the crate. Secret one of nine. So there are eight more to go. So let's go ahead and go up these here stairs. Oh, you shot one of the plants. How dare you? Oh, nice. There we go. Go ahead and take care of these guys out here. Ooh, nice. Ooh, burger and coke. I'll take that. Okay. I'm not going to explore this area too much yet. I just wanted to clear out this main room. There we go. Oh, another one. Yeah, I just want to go ahead and clear out this room and the enemies that hear me in it. But you can go pretty much in any order you want. I mean, obviously, if you get to a, red, uh, a key card door, that was a nice punt. And you can't go through it, then go somewhere else. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter what order you go in these rooms in. Exploration is the most important part. But on either side of this door here, which... This is the blue key door, by the way. Speak of the devil. There will be a cultist. And then a uh, mech sect hiding there. And once you grab the blue key card, there will be more enemies that spawn in this general area. So don't think because you're clearing it out now that they're, you know permanently cleared out. They're not. But in the meantime, let's grab secret number two, which is just behind this cabinet. Yep, another Call of Duty camping cultist. Go ahead and make short work of him. Okay, which way, which way? Let's go back this way. And we are going to go through the living areas. Go ahead and tag that cultist up there. Gonna imbibe some of Dr. Heskel's alcohol. Because I can. But they're having a Mikasa as Sukasa. Right, it should be greater cultists and two mech sex in the den here. More alcohol. And there is no secret in this room, but there is one. Right behind this green curtain. Let's pull this drawstring here. Whoa, what could this be? Dave's not here, man. I know I've looked up what movie that references, but I keep forgetting. I, I Whenever I hear that line, it reminds me of a Futurama episode where 
they're at some kind of, uh, I forget what the place is, but Amy finds this hemp booth and the, the vendor behind the booth who's obviously stoned. Amy's asking him legit questions about hemp and the guy just replies slowly, Dave's not here, man. I'm wondering if that was also a reference to that same series or movie or whatever it is. So in the bedroom here, we'll have a cultist and a mech sec. It is technically possible to snipe some enemies from here, but as you can tell, you don't have a very good line of sight because of the blinds. I suppose I could try to tag that grenadier up there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Can I get him? Oh, I can. Yeah, I think they're too far away for you to lock onto him, but you can just manually aim. Hey. That works for me. Alright, if you drop down in here, you can't open this garage door from this side until you open it from the other side. So when you open it from the other side and the door closes behind you, then you can open it from here. But for now, you can hear me tapping my E key. You cannot open it. For the time being. But that's okay. Only a mech sector two to get in there for the moment anyway. <laughs> So we'll just go further up the stairs. You can push this cabinet here out the way. This is not a secret. And there's also another way of entering this area. But if you drop down there, there's a uh, shortcut to the blue key card. But I'm not going to show off any shortcuts in this level. I want to get all the exploration. You also skip a good bit of fights if you go straight there. And when you come back through, you have to take out the enemies that were already here, as well as the enemies that spawn in once you grab the blue access card. So I'd rather not have to do that. See, here's the other way into this room. And secret number, I believe this is three, just jump through the portrait. That uh, admittedly very creepy portrait. Oh, I think he's holding the skull. I thought the skull was like, melded into his head or something. Kind of creepy either way. Yeah, okay, there's gonna be some more enemies around the banister here. Wow. Those shotgunners can move out the way quick. Yeah, we're gonna have all various enemies down here to take out. Whoa, hello. There's mech sects all over the place. Got some greater cultists. Some non-greater cultists. Yeah, speaking of which, that guy was bugging me. Gotta take care of him. And we got drones as well. A little service ladder for you to extend. Give you a shortcut back up here. Oh, yeah, shit. Let's see if I can... Oh, wow. It actually rolled up and hit him. That's very rare that that happens. Usually it just rolls around harmlessly under him. And then the bomb eventually just like resets its fuse or something weird. But it worked out that time. Uh, so anyway, this will be secret number... Uh, four. Open this portrait here. Go all the way to the other side for medium armor. Yep. Not a whole lot there. I'm going to go ahead and drop down here. Now, behind uh, this area here, which is kind of blocked off by this bookcase, is a bl is the uh, blue key. Oh, I think that's the only way you can get to it is through the fireplace. Okay, I was thinking that was a secret. Okay, no big deal. Yeah, I... I keep forgetting, oops, I keep forgetting about that, that that is, I guess that's why it's not a secret, otherwise it for sure would have been, I think, anyway, if that were the, if that weren't the only way of getting to the blue key card, but it is, so, for that reason, it is not a secret. Yeah, to my knowledge, there are no mandatory secrets in this game, which is nice, I've always found those kind of strange. Just look around for any spare supplies while we're exploring here, all right. So, oh yeah, got a couple of bad guys in here. Man, how'd you bite me from that far away? Got some Mr. Fantastic extending fangs or something. Okay, blue access card. Grab it and get ready for some fun. So you can now get out. Thanks to uh, Mr. Greater Colt is blowing a hole in the wall. And yeah, so more enemies have now spawned out here. And in this little, like, conjoining hallway, whatever it is. Now, I've never seen anyone actually walk inside this secret before. Other than the one who's already inside there, that is. 
Okay, so I think we are done in the house for right now. So now we're going to go into the, I guess it's the front yard. And we're going to whip out the akimbo penetrators here. Run to this corner. Go ahead and take down that cultist. There will be some um, drones that I'm trying to lock onto. Oh, bullets can't penetrate trees, by the way. Trees are solid objects, even the leaves. So don't try to shoot through them. I don't think you can destroy them either. They're like immovable objects. We're going to take out that turret up there. There's another one further that way. Go ahead and take out the Liberator shotgunner as well. Just take out some more foot soldiers down here. Where are you hiding? And here is the garage door from the other side. Yep. So now... Aw. Oh. If you go inside and the door closes behind you, whether manually or automatically, now you can open it from this side. Yeah, they didn't want to allow you to take that much of a shortcut, so <laughs> I can kind of understand why. Let's see. Oh, so that greater cultist is coming from inside this house here. So this house is secret number... F uh, will this be six? Yeah, secret number... No. Five? Something. Yeah, secret number five, sorry. There's eight secrets. Or they're nine. Eh, it's one of the two. Anyway, secret number 24 total for the whole zone. So this one's a bit tricky. Make sure you have a... Uh... Oh, hello. How'd you get down there? Make sure you have some bowling bombs. What you have to do here is fire up the secondary mode, which is what uh, turns off the seeking ability of the bomb, but also lights a fuse, and toss it... I think I missed. Yeah, I missed. Try that again. You throw it down this chimney hole. There we go. Bam. Hear that? That was the sound of you not only destroying the greater cultist that was hiding inside, but also the sound of a wall being blown out. So now you can jump inside or uh, dive underneath the fountain here and resurface inside the house. Yeah, all that for an ultrasonic radar. That doesn't really... Seemed like a very nice payoff. Oh, and a bowling bomb, too, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of a little too much work for a payout that small, especially for an item like the ultrasonic radar, but whatever. Secret's a secret. Um, uh, you know, I'll wait till after I get the red key to do all that. Oh, wait. I heard a mech sect. Where's he at? Oh, ow. Hey. That is not nice. Okay, I don't hear any more footsteps, so we should be good. Go ahead and snag this ammo for the penetrator here. Alright. Now we can finally head inside this mausoleum here. In loving memory of someone, you magnificent bastard. In loving memory of Kay Katarn, retcon, that's Kyle Katarn from Star Wars. In loving memory of Caleb, beloved gunslinger, that's Caleb from Blood. And in this one, in loving memory of Slade, he took no prisoners. I'm pretty sure that's not referring, or referring, referencing Slade from uh, Teen Titans, or like, you know, the Marvel, DC, whatever the uh, universe he comes from villain. But maybe it is, I don't know. I'll actually have to look that up, because I've always been curious and just never thought to look it up. Anyway, we can just drop down here. The water cushions your impact, so don't worry about grabbing the ladder on the way down. And now we have a little bit of a puzzle to figure out. Not too hard. So basically, uh, avoid the yellow button. I think entirely, actually. Step on the blue button to raise the blue bars. Step on the red button to open this. Do not step on the... Well... Wait. Oh, yes, and you have to step on... Okay, you step on the yellow, and then you step on the red again. And that allows you access to... Yeah, and the blue button. The red key card. Hope nobody fries my ass. And be prepared, because grabbing that is going to unleash a whole swarm of mech sects. Now we can... Now I have to run through this tunnel here. Activate this manual override switch to raise all the bars, so you can encircle around these mech sects and try to get them into one area. That way you can bowling bomb them with relative ease. There we go. And there's also going to be a diopede. 
Okay, I hear another mech sec. Where is he? There you are. Listening for footsteps. I don't hear any. Alright, and we are not done yet. So, if you're facing where you drop down from, face left. So this corner here, straight ahead is a grate that is a door wow. for the next secret. Yeah, Doge. Shelly sounded so unimpressed there. I guess even she's tired of the Doge memes. And look here. In loving memory of Doge, it wasn't that funny. But you know what else is not funny? Heavy armor. Which I don't need because I have max armor. Yeah, I don't know why your armor max is at 249. That's a very odd, get it, number. I mean, why not 250? Yeah, when you climb back out, all those little uh, mausoleum drawer, whatever those are called, tombs, I guess, are going to open up, revealing a mech sect in each of them. And the Caleb one will have some chain gun bullets. Slade doesn't have anything, nor does Kyle Katarn, or even the someone one. And yes, that's a brute. Now, we don't really need to get this uh, secret now. There's not that many enemies out here to kill. But, did you really just pop me in the face? I'm going to have to kill you for that. And you too. There we go. Anyway, next secret. These cellar doors right here. They just kind of fly open. There are two cultists hiding in here. And you have a stim pack. And most importantly, oh yeah. Super damage. Time to make mincemeat out of this guy. As well as you. And you. Wow. That grenade exploded instantly on that light. That was weird. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these bad dudes. Clear out as much as I can. Oh yeah. Especially you. And time is up. Whoa, yep. I knew there was a second one of you somewhere. There we go. Alright. Now. We. Have some unfinished business. See that moon? It's got something written into it. All I see is CHA, but check this out. Ouch. The moon feels pain? Well, how about more pain? What did I ever do to you? Give me the zone mega secret is what you just did to me. Yes. Portable med kit and three cluster pucks. So that is the zone mega secret of zone five. For the longest time, I didn't even know this zone had a mega secret, and I think I saw it in a playthrough video or something. So, we have the red key card in hand. We are just about ready to go through the... Oh! Wow, I just realized I forgot something. I forgot to go into the bar. I, I just looked at my kill count and I was like, that seems like it's awfully low. And that's because it is low. Jeez. Yeah, the bar. This should be one of the first places you go to, but... Uh, I told myself I was only going through the vents to get the mech set kills, and I would go through the bar a little bit later. And, well, now it's a lot a bit later. But, uh, hey. No, sir. Anyway, better late than never, right? Yep, and we're going to have a lot more kills in a, yes, a bowling alley. Now, if you have your own personal bowling alley, you are definitely a big baller. Now, the bowling alley is locked. Um, oh, also, jukebox. We can change the music. Yeah, get some synthwave tunes going on. Okay, anyway, so to unlock the bowling alley, you simply go behind the bar and turn this knob here. That raises up the gate. Yep, there's a mech sect in the ball return there. Grab you some bowling bombs. Get that blast accelerator. And let's go actually bowling now. There's going to be three waves of uh, mech sects. That drop down the pin return chute over there. And you don't have to kill them before your blast accelerator. Wow, there we go, an actual strike. Um, you don't have to kill all of them before your Blast Accelerator expires or anything. It's just a nice little goal to do. And once you do, yes. Super damage. Another one. Some celebratory alcohol there. Grab the super damage. 
take out these cultists here. What just blew up? Oh, wow, fire extinguisher. Nice. And yeah, I cannot believe I forgot about that bar until just now. Because now we have the red key card, which means we can go through the red key card door. And I don't think there's any more enemies up here to kill. Just quick search. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. And yeah, it's okay. We don't need the super damage for this last part. Ready up the bowling bombs. Special delivery. Yeah, you got a greater cultist and a cultist. Over here, we're going to have a grenadier liberator. We have a mech sect in here, along with another greater cultist. There we go. And, whoa. Oh, you're a shotgunner. Ooh, good hit. I'll give you that one. And yeah, we're going to have a greater cultist by the door up here. And a regular, oh, two regular cultists right here. And finally, last but not least, secret number eight or nine, whatever the hell it is, I honestly lost count. Sorry, it happens sometimes. You have to shoot this portrait to reveal that wall. And no, you cannot jump through it. You have to actually destroy it. And what you need to do carefully, because remember, you can squish yourself between movable objects and immovable objects, is push the chair over. There's other chairs inside the office that you can use if this one's been blown up, which that did happen to me in my practice run. I was just nonchalantly throwing bowling bombs in here to kill the enemies and forgot about the chair. Oh, well. Okay, there should be three kills beyond this door. Got one... Two, three. Okay, perfect. So, go ahead and go inside. So here is how this final part works. Drink some wine. Once you pull this switch here, this room gets sealed off. You can't go through these doors. And this entire floor starts to lower like a giant elevator. And as it's lowering, you're going to have drones flying in from the glass panes above. You're going to have some enemies in little hidden alcoves on your way down. Very uh, reminiscent of Map 2 from Plutonia Experiment, um, The Well of Souls. You see some enemies in alcoves on your way down. And you just keep going down, down, down. There's more drones that'll come in through the top. And you get to the very bottom, and there's going to be a large amount of enemies waiting for you. Specifically, there are going to be 30 enemies total in this area to kill. And remember, my kill count is glitched from Inhospitable Hospitality, so otherwise there would only be 29. But no, there's 30. If you have any more than 30 kills remaining by the time you come here, make sure to go find them, if you care to get all the kills, of course, before you hit that switch. Oh, you can actually make her drop her quarter. Whoa. I think you can do that. That's unique. I like that. Anyway, so yeah. So we're going to have uh, 605 kills by the time this part is done, and we're all good to go, so let's do it. Yeah, so you're sealed in. And here we go. Yeah, here's some enemies here. Go ahead and plug them. There's going to be a few more over here. Yeah, a lot of greater cultists. Just be careful. And then once we get to the very bottom, we are going to whip out the cluster pucks and have some fun with them. Because I've been kind of neglecting them the whole game. So... Oop. Where's the drone? There he is. Oh, you are hot. You know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you fly about for right now. Cause you are not coming down any lower. And here we go. Let's just go cluster puck crazy. And you're gonna have a little bit of everything to kill down here. There's gonna be cultists, greater cultists, uh mech sects, liberators. Oh, yeah. Oh, go! Nope, nope. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. And then if you can, try to get inside one of these sides here so you're not as out in the open. And just... Whoa! Kill them as you can. Also, try to blow the barrels up as you're fighting so they don't blow up in your face by enemies shooting at them. There's a cultist there, a liberator there, and a mech sect. No, sir. There we go. 
Oh, there should be one more. Yep, I hear you. There you are. There we go. 30 enemies. Bam. 605 kills out of 604. Which, yes, makes no sense. But, glitch kill count. So it has to make sense. <clears throat> and there we go. Yeah, that's a bit of a hairy final fight. But we finally got to uh, unleash the power of the uh, cluster pucks. Definitely fun to use. And I think they can actually make short work of, uh, like, Brutes and miniature war mechs as well, which you will be seeing more of at some point. But, yeah, we're done. All secrets, all kills. Let's get out of here. And we are actually going to end up right back in Knee Deep. Hence why the secret and the kill count did not go up. So open this gate here. And here is that gate I told you about. Remember that exit door from the previous level? And the elevator shaft where that armored mutant nearly gave me a heart attack because I didn't know he was there. Here we are. So now you can do any backtracking you need to. Though I think if you go back to Heskel's house, you still can't re-enter the area where the floor lowered. But you should be able to backtrack uh, to the area before that to get any missing kills you might have. And then just come back down through the elevator shaft to come back here. And since the gate is open... You will not be blocked off. Whoa. What the hell just happened there? I hurt myself. Not sure how. But yeah, that's it. Zone 5 is done. Let's go ahead and pre-reload all the weapons. And let's just get the hell out of here. Zone complete. Countryside Carnage. Whew. Yeah, so, shorter zone, only three maps, but uh, they're all relatively long, except for Knee Deep, which is long as hell. And Zone 6 is going to be the same, only three maps. But it's going to start heating up even more. But yeah, so Zone 5, um, let's see, what was the first level? Inhospitable Hospitality. Like I said, decently fun. You get to finally take a peek at what outside looks like again when it's not nighttime. Go through the countryside to get inside of a hospital, fight your way through that. Second, we have Knee Deep, which is just long and complicated, but still fun to play. And then Heskel's House of Horrors, this map. Love it. Absolutely love this map's design. I love all the different rooms. I love how you can take various shortcuts and and just, like, you know, through dumbwaiters and whatnot. I should have actually taken a ride up the dumbwaiter to show you what it looked like, but it's just a miniature elevator. You have to crouch inside. Nothing really, like, special about it. And, uh, yeah, you get to go through a library, bedrooms, uh, like a parking lot or driveway, courtyard, whatever that outside area is. And then there's that zone mega seeker where you have to shoot down the moon, which I know that's referencing something, too. And, again, I keep forgetting. I should really look up what all these are. Maybe I'll make a separate video about that. I'm not really sure. Um, and then that final room in Heskel's House of Horrors, that giant floor elevator. Once you get closer to the bottom, it really starts getting hairy, and you really got to be ready. Because you will have greater cultists and shotgunner. Thankfully, no grenadiers. That would be just nasty. But there will be tons of explosive barrels. But yeah, you'll have mech sex, drones, at least one deacon, uh, shotgunner liberators, cultists, and greater cultists all around you just trying to take your head off. Greater, uh, greater cultists especially, because they hit you with a charged ion bow shot up close. Yeah, that really hurts. Like, that really, really hurts. So if you get hit with, like, two or three of those at the same time, you could be in some trouble. But, yeah, that's Zone 5. Countryside Carnage. So, Zone 6 is next. We're getting closer to the end. And Zone 6 is not going to let up on the gas at all. And like I said before, this is the zone where you have to kind of do some more backtracking uh, through a previous level to access a following level. And there, there's a lot more backtracking this time than just, oh, open this gate, open this gate, and then you can do whatever you want but no this time I think the level that you end up going through twice you can't get all the kills and I think you have to miss on one of the secrets maybe two but you definitely don't get all the kills on your first visit that much I do remember so there's a lot more involved backtracking coming up so it's going to get a little bit more confusing but it's still not too bad I will I will show you the way through it as I have done so far but until that time comes that was zone five Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time comes, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.